Bring them in, we'll take care of it. For the last 61 years. This business opened up in 1962 when Brookdale first opened up. And it was a family business. My dad and mom opened it up. Michael Zastowny has served an important purpose. It is a dying art. It's the dying art of being able to repair nearly anything made out of leather. Heels, soles, ripping, rips on them, conditioning, dying. Uh, the majority of the work I do is usually on high heels. Michael's boots and shoe repair has spent the last 23 years on Osseo's Central Avenue. It's been very good. It's a good, good little town. It's part repair shop. I have done baby dolls and put their heads back on. Part museum for anything having to do with shoes, boots, or leather. Oh, a lot more shoe repair, yes. A lot more. Since moving the shop to Osseo in 2000, Michael has amassed more than 20,000 customers. And a lot of my customers have become friends now. Friends who will soon have to find a new place to have their shoes, boots, and other leather items repaired. I'm constantly busy. Michael says he's retiring on May 1st. I'm turning three quarters of a century <laughs> next month. So I thought 75 is a good time to quit. With no apprentice to take over the business and fewer people getting into this line of work. There's nobody going into it. So it just, uh, it's tough. Michaels will join the growing list of shoe repair shops taking a permanent vacation. A couple in Crystal, they're gone. Maple Grove is gone. So within the last few years, there have been like four places that are, that are just shut down. It's why he's trying to get the word out so that customers can bring in items before he stops accepting them at the end of March. People love their shoes. Inacio, Delaney Cleveland, CCX News.